Well, I'm on my second hole. I kind of couldn't find the, uh, the charm yet, but I'm finding other signals. I'm trying to dig them up. A couple different things in this hole here. Another lipstick tube. End up getting a lighter. Be interesting to see what year these are. That's pretty much about it. But I have two more spots that I have picked out that uh, I'm going to dig up and then check next. But there's a lot of stuff in this ground, that's for sure. Alright, I dug a little more in this hole. And uh, I have to believe that I'm actually in the right spot. Because there's a ponds jar in there and there's more glass over here. I just kicked out a freaking milk bottle. I can't believe it. I mean, that's in beautiful condition. Oh, there is some embossing on it. Nice. One pint. F. Uh, Heen, I think. One, four, three, something, Lyle Ave. Wow. That is cool. Big H and boss on the bottom. That's a new one for me. That one's going in the collection. Beautiful. But I, I believe I'm in the right section. So I think I'm going to have to dig this whole area up here. To see if any more of the charm. Because it was right in this section. Actually I believe it was right here. So let me keep digging. Well this uh, little project became into an excavation. There's a lot more to this corner of this property than uh, I think there is. I haven't found my original hole. I thought I found it when I seen the ponds, but there was other glass in there too. I would remember what they were, but that's not what I found. But I found the uh, milk bottle. I found this. It does have a, a broken top, like chipped, but I didn't do that. I've never seen a bottle like this in my life. I don't know. It's got all sorts of weird embossing. I don't know what the hell this means. So I'm keeping those two. Those two are going back in the hole, but I want to see what else I found that was cool in the hole. An old Chevrolet badge and a lipstick tube. And that makes number two. So I'm actually going to cover this hole back up because um, I wasn't expecting to dig this much. I'm going to throw this stuff back in there and hit the other two spots I got marked and hopefully I can find out where this missing link is. Dug this out a little bit. This is the bottle section. Nothing special. Old perfume bottles. Pretty aspirin. I've dug these up before. Probably perfume, snake oil, Listerine, something like that. Let's see. I'm embossing on this one. I don't know. Flickers, flitch, riches. Who cares? Anyhow, pretty good stuff. Pulled up a really, really nice escutcheon. It's missing the center piece that went across, but when that cleans up, that'll be a showpiece. Little box, probably go back in the ground. Another lipstick tube. That's a, a bunch for today. I don't know what this glass piece is. I think it might have been knee on it one time or something. I'll take it with me and off to the next hole. Two more to do. Now I think this is the spot. Of course I said that last time. But if I find a bunch of bottles all in one spot, this is the spot. But it's coming up like a 36, which is I think mixing with the iron. I am not quite positive. Got another spot behind me to do if this isn't it. Um, the plug pulled up like I've done this before in the spot, so but I'm thinking I should have came up with the bottles by now.
digging deep because uh, neither do I want to get everything out of this hole. I want to explore the sides to see if there's any bottles. I'm only 10 feet away from where I found the uh, milk bottle. This ground is really soft. Very pleasant to dig. I don't see much ash in this hole. So this wouldn't be the spot that I dumped bottles in. Ooh, some of them's round right there. Or tubular. Could be another lipstick tube. I hear something too. Let me scan the dirt that I've pulled up. I don't know if that's a tarp ring or not. So I'm going to scoop this down a little bit. Tarp ring probably. Let me see what was in this hole. It's so sunny out. Oh, yep. There you go. That's a fancy one there. It's got some lines on there and stuff. Another lipstick tube. That's probably what I was getting in between all the iron and stuff. Now, when I had the 11 on, 11 inch coil from uh, Equinox, I didn't hear none of this stuff. It's just, this place is filled with nails and tin cans. I found a hole now. I recognize the, uh, the little uh, medicine bottle right there with the broken top on it. And I seen the Pons bottle. When I hit this spot, it rang up a 30. There's the Pons right there. railroad spike. Holy Moses. Here's the other ponds, I think. This should be it. I'm going to spread this out in a second. I'm going to get about every inch out. There's that other bottle. Yep. Gotta be in here. Spread her out. Let's see if I can find her. Should be one to two missing links. I'm getting that tin mix down there. So I don't know what to do. I know there's missing links. Thing is just alive. And there's something big down here. You know what might help? If I remove whatever that big piece of tin is down there. Without 
couldn't it? Yeah, I remember this. I remember whatever that was. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is cut that hole up right there. Dig this a little bit more round because it has to be in the soil that's around here because we dug sideways if I remember right. And if this just don't do it then I guess it was only seven weeks instead of nine. But I'm thinking there's two more in here somewhere. Be nice if you just drop it on the tarp and it's like right there. This is all filled from it too. Last time, it went sideways. Here's the other ponds. The boot I seen last time. Last time it was here. <laughs> Put a shoe. To be honest with you, I don't think I dug much more than this. Take the take the rest of the loose out, and then uh, I'll spread it, spread it a little thinner. And maybe I might get lucky. That's pretty interesting. Uh, it's a tinfoil tag of some sort, but might give us a year 
of when this section came down. I'll uh, put this in the bag. I'll clean it up lightly later. sounds like when I put the, uh, the I just dug this pit this is exactly where the bracelet came out of I searched it high and low and I even took all that tin out uh, in a big steel bar looks like an old laundry line or some sort I took it out went over the top of it I took a lot of dirt out I even went all the way around the sides and I guess it only had six links maybe it has to do with the size of the wrist I don't know, maybe to put less story in the bracelet. But still, I'm having a ball. I'm finding stuff. And I'm really ecstatic. Look at this. Store, five cent bottle. I found one of these before, but I only found the, um, I think it was a pint. This is a quart. That is beautiful. Now a chip on it, and let me tell you, I work to get this out. This was way over in here. I could dig this yard up all day. It is just filled in this general area of bottles. And you gotta go down. But my grandfather would kill me, even if he seen what I did right now. So luckily he's not here. When the snow melts, I gotta rake this yard up. Move some of this dirt around because it's gonna look capey everywhere. But I did not find what I was looking for. So the bracelet I have which I only think it is a six. Um, his, or I mean, seven of those coin looking things all the way around. If it was bigger and it went to a lady, it most likely wouldn't have fit her. It would have been way too loose. So I think it was just a, a six. Anyhow, I found some cool stuff. I ended up getting a phone call, so I had to exit out early. This is a large five cent uh, quart bottle. That is really nice. I ended up finding this. This is a Rochester, New York. Uh, it's embossed of... I think this is a Brighton place. But this one's different. This one's got a cow. Cow face right here embossed in the, in the bottle. That is sweet looking. Very sick. This one I still don't know. I showed you this one already. Stuff I didn't show you. This is blue glass. This would have been a late 1800s mason jar right here. It's real nice. Another lipstick tube, a uh, roached, roached out lipstick tube. Uh, some kind of hook, almost looks like a fishing hook, but I doubt it. A button. And a stove top, I'll clean this up. It might have a year on it. Probably went to a pot belly stove of some sort. There would have been a spring down there so you could open and close the damper. And that's about it clean this up and uh, I'll show you the finds. I'll have the wrap up in a second. This was an interesting recovery. I didn't expect to get any of this stuff today. I was expecting to get possibly some missing links from a bracelet that was in a hole. As I seen the, the bracelet that I got from this place, there was one that was online, not the exact same one, but it had nine pieces versus the seven that I have. So maybe it went for size and had a complete story. I'm not quite sure. But anyhow, uh, trying to find the location again, which I did remember, it held some bottles that I put back in a hole that weren't worth anything. So if I was able to go back to that spot and find where that big metal plate was underground, that's where the, the links would have been. So while looking for that spot, I ended up digging other spots up and hitting lipstick tubes, a lighter. Uh, this here went into a flue of a chimney and it would have been a damper. Some lead. I don't know if that was from fishing or maybe possible of a gun. Some weird nut. That was the top off of an old bottle. This thing here is just a foil wrapper of uh, a fictional f fab ribbon that's nine foot long. I have no clue. This is a real old sketching. I think probably from, I would have to say probably the later 1800s. 
maybe the early 1900s. Very nice looking. Oh, what else? This here, I wasn't sure what it was when I got it. It, it took me a minute to figure it out. This brake here possibly could have come from me because it looks semi-new. But this is definitely old up in here. You know what? I, I think I ended up breaking all of this accidentally bring getting it out which really stinks because this here is an oil bottle this would have had a metal top on her that would have went real long to a point and this would have been for motor oil so anyone that digs bottles this one here goes for eighty dollars and pretty much it's maybe worth five now maybe i don't know if you found a cap and you twisted it on there you would probably only see a little bit of the chip there but still um, it kind of stinks, but I think I do have some tops for this bottle and I might put one on there and this will be my starter They might be building a house on that lot. So if they do I have permission to uh, dig that whole place up and it's filled with bottles. Let me tell you This one here is a very nice this is going to be a new piece to my collection This is a five star, uh, five cent store bottle and normally I didn't think it would have been any bigger than a, a half pint as I'll show you the one I found a long time ago on the site I found this one so I don't know if it's five cent returnable or the actual cost five cents but why would this one be five cents and this one five cents unless they're you know like maybe this one's earlier and eventually they couldn't sell it for that size for five cents and it was this I have no idea but it's a cool five cent bottle this is a uh, late 1800s canning jar lid. This would have went off to the mason jars like this. They would have had the twist up on there. This one I've, is a new one to me. I've never seen one here from F. Hain, I guess, from 1431 Lyle Avenue in Rochester, New York. This is a Rochester, New York mill company right here. Never heard of them, but uh, cool to have. Now, I have a lot of Brighton Dairy. Most of them are all painted on. This is an earlier one. This is a uh, Brighton Place Dairy Corporation. It's got the cow on it. How awesome is that? Rochester, New York, and then Reed down there. Big embossed B on the bottom. I mean, that is a beautiful early milk bottle. That is so nice. I'm so happy to have this one. I'm not sure what the price of the day is. There's so many goodies here. But I really like this. This is a uh, Chevy badge off of one of their old vehicles. And it's porcelain over um, brass. Is that nice? That's going to look real nice in the display case. I'm thinking is the way this sits, this is probably worth about $30. Just the way it sits, this old piece right here. Real, real nice. And then some of these bottles are, are pretty rare. So uh, I haven't looked this one up on Lyle Avenue, but I'm sure there's not many of them. Probably looking at a $30 bottle. And that's what I love about glass because when you go to old dumps like this, that the bottles have been protected underground, no one's been kicking them around, or there's no, not been driving over the top of them, you can dig these things up and they're worth like more than coins, which is crazy. But anyhow, I won't be going back to that spot because there, there's more bottles. But if they decide to dig a house, I have first dibs to dig the yard up. It goes down about two feet, the bottle dump, or the uh, the dump part of the house there. And it's probably about maybe 60, 70 feet by 30 feet wide uh, dumping area. So it would be real interesting. If you like this video, I have them every week. And hopefully see you back next week. Thanks. Bye.